shout out to Africans in Dubai, man, because every African in Dubai, if you see somebody working for a company for two years, then you need to know that company is a little bit better because an African just needs somewhere to be stable mm -hmm. in order to explore. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> But in this company, you see guys ending like might be like hundred dollar mm -hmm. as compared to like dollars mm -hmm. because they pay in the rams. Mm -hmm. But when you convert to dollars, it's like a hundred dollars in a month. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And sometimes you're working seven days a week and in a month they're giving you like two days to get rest, like two days off. And some companies don't even do that. Like securities, they don't have off. What? You know, you are not ending anything mm -hmm. and you need what they call this tips to like to end the day yeah oh wow. and, yeah <clears throat> and there giving you tips is not like here in the u.s someone can give you a dollar tip two dollars ten dollars bro mm -hmm. if someone is tipping you in dubai then you need to know he's ending something way two times bigger <laughs> than what you're ending because i for one bro as as they pay you now as you just receive a let's say salary don't pass mm -hmm. you know There is a scale of preference mm -hmm. for in order of merit, like from yeah. the important to the, the least, least important. important yeah. Ev at everyone in Dubai, literally everyone, mm -hmm. your scale of preference, the first thing must be rice. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing must be rice. Yeah. Are not oil. I had no choice rather than sign. signing the termination. Mm -hmm. I had to sign. I signed, then I told them I wanted my passport because they were in position of my passport. That's mm -hmm. what they do. Mm -hmm. When they hire you, they keep your passport because first they know what they are paying you is not good. Wow. They, yeah, you might decide to leave at any time. So they keep the documents that they know will draw you back. Mm -hmm. You're thinking of going, but you have something behind that is holding you. Yeah. In Dubai, when you come, you're still new. Yep. Once you get a job, You have to go for medica. Mm -hmm. It's called visa medica. Yep. Once you come, like you go through that medicas, yep. you pass the test. It's like a chest X-ray, mm -hmm. the cough, like to check if you're good, mm -hmm. because they don't want to employ you when you have poor health. Yep. Yeah. So if you're being tested and within 24 to 48 hours, the results are like positive. Yep. You got something like immediate deportation. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know what time you'll pick up. <laughs> really? Yeah, because the results are not being sent to you. Uh -huh. The results are sent directly to, to the, the company. company. Oh. These guys, you see Indians, they tell you, bye, I've been working in this company for 15 years. Whoa. And you're like, for real? <laughs> <laughs> And you see yourself spending just a month in that company is a nightmare. <laughs> wow. Yeah, spending 30 days in that company yeah it's a nightmare bro so you just keep sweating for example you want to go see a small chick you day inside bus so you catch the bus <laughs> but then younger ones you are boss you are sweating yeah that's you know <laughs> yeah because the population of those like owning a car uh-huh wow so it began someone guy over there actually <laughs> 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 But you do concentrate for work. For even get woman for day, like me, I know be get girl for day. Uh -huh. But you are concentrating on work oh, wow. because sometimes what you are ending, mm -hmm. you have to take care of the family back home. Imagine you getting girl for day, and the money there, giving her, it's like going to like might be 800 dirhams, mm -hmm. and giving a lady 200 to stay with 600. Mm. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you cannot like you can't survive. You can't survive. Oh wow. So like I was saying